Here's what I want you to see. Jesus is a preacher. Jesus is a preacher. We get this as well. And I'll give you one other occasion in scripture in uh, Matthew chapter four, verse 17. From that time on, Jesus began to what? Preach. Saying what? Repent. So what did they do to Jesus? They killed him as well. Now, here's what I wanna say. Jesus fed people, but they didn't crucify him for that. Jesus healed people, but they didn't crucify him for that. Jesus cared for widows, orphans, the poor, the marginalized, the outcast, and the abused, and they didn't kill him for that. Jesus loved women who were despised, even in their own community, and he befriended them, but they didn't kill him for that. Jesus loved his mother, and they didn't kill him for that. Why did they kill Jesus? Because of his preaching because he kept saying things like, I'm God, you're a sinner. I'm here to save you, repent. And when they didn't, just like they treated the Old Testament prophets and John the baptizer before him, they ascertained the only way to silence him was to kill him. And so they crucified Jesus. Of course, he rose three days later to keep on preaching. What's your picture of Jesus? I would submit to you that the average person today, even the average evangelical Christian, sees Jesus more as a therapist than a preacher. Someone who listens a whole lot more than he talks. Someone who understands you a lot more than someone who makes demands of you. Someone who sympathizes with you far more than someone who rebukes you. On the scale of therapist to full-throated prophet, where is your primary view of Jesus? See, if Jesus is only therapist, he doesn't tell you what to do. He just listens. He doesn't judge you. He just tries to sympathize. He doesn't tell you you're wrong. He doesn't tell you to repent. He doesn't tell you to change. He's there to be a friend, a comforting presence, a kind ear, and a nice, gentle encourager. But the Jesus of the Bible, if he were not a preacher, he'd still be alive today. He would not have ever died. Of course, we know Jesus is alive today and he's exalted, he's back in heaven and he's ruling and reigning. But much of his ministry life on the earth was about what? Preaching. Sometimes it was small groups, sometimes it was large groups, sometimes Jesus, quite frankly, assembled a mega church, thousands. Thousands. It says on certain occasions that people would walk for hours across rugged terrain to listen to him preach. Sometimes it was thousands of men plus the women plus the children. You're looking at large crowds of people coming to hear Jesus what? Preach. Now we don't have the full transcripts of Jesus' sermons. Things like the Sermon on the Mount, it's a summary of a long sermon. How do we know the sermons were long? Well, sometimes it says everybody got really, really hungry. They'd been there a long time. And so we don't have the full sermon transcripts, but what we do hear is Jesus was a preacher and he preached repentance of sin and the coming of the kingdom of heaven. What he had was a sense of urgency. Now is the time. Sin is a problem and time is of the essence. 